Next we're going to cover filters in Ethercad. This allows you to easily modify the network traffic. All right, here are the basic uh, script functions. Uh, there's search, which allows you to search for a string. There's replace, which allows you to replace a specific string with something you specify. Inject will allow you to inject a full packet. Uh, log will log the packet. Uh, there's message, which will display a message in Ethercap when a specific uh, piece of data comes through. Drop will drop the packet so it is not received to the destination. Kill will kill the connection between a host and a destination. Um, execute will execute a shell command and exit exits the filter. All right. Ethercab comes with a few examples of filters, and you can get to them by going to user dash local dash share dash ethercap. Um, I'll just show you a couple here. All right, this first filter is pretty simple. All it does is check to see if the packet is THCP, and then it'll search the packet to see if it finds the incorrect spelling of ethercap. And then what it'll do is log that packet, and then replace the misspelled ethercap with the correct spelling ethercap, and then display the message that it corrected the substitution. It's just a simple uh, filter to give you an idea of what you can do with it. All right, this next one has a whole bunch of different examples in it. The first one here just checks to see if it's uh, on the port 22, which is a SSH packet, and uh, just displays the message that an SSH packet was found. Uh, the second one looks for a telnet uh, traffic, and then it'll execute some sort of command and log that data. Uh, and then, yeah, this keeps on going on like this. Uh, one will look for either cap in a, a packet and if there, it finds that then it's going to kill it, the connection and drop the packet and there's just a whole bunch of like the like this and uh, there's examples uh, you wouldn't actually run this filter as one thing so just kind of gives you an idea what you can do the next one is the kill filter which basically if it's from a certain IP address it will just kill the connection and drop the packet it's a uh, that simple. Um, and the last one that comes with it is actually pretty advanced. Basically, it's it's an SSH downgrade. Um, we covered SSH servers before, and basically, when you connect to a an SSH server, it will tell you uh, what version it's running, and uh, if it's configured in a certain way, it'll allow you to either connect with a the lower version or the more up-to-date version. Then what Ethercap will do is modify the packet that is sent back to the client and make it think that it only has a lower version, thus a, a version downgrade. All right, I'm just going to edit this uh, example file and just do a simple example. Basically, I'm going to search all packets for infinitesis.com and if the it finds that any packets, what it'll do is drop that packet and kill the connection. So basically whenever someone is going to a website where there's a link for infinitesix.com or you go to the infinitesix.com website, it'll just kill that packet, not allowing you to go to it. <coughs> All right, I just modified it here and I will save this packet by pushing Control X. And I'm just going to save it as uh, ether.filter.examples2. And as you can see, that's the modified one. And to compile this script so it can be used in Ethercap, you want to use the command ether filter, and then type the, the location of where your filter script is located, and then dash O, and then output file where you put, want to put the script. And I'm just going to output it to examples.ef, EF standing for Ethercap filter. And now this filter is in a way that Ethercap can understand it and use it. So I'm just going to run. Either cap again. I'm going to scan for some hosts and just run a basic art poison attack. You could really use any um, men in the mill attack for this one. The DHCP spoofing one would uh, not work all the time because, like I said before, it's only half duplex and it only sees outgoing things. But we're just going to do art poisoning because it works both ways, full duplex, just like Force doing is. And we're going to go to filters and load a filter. And we're going to find the 
example.ef, it's, as you can see, the filter uh, dialog box is already in the, the right directory, so we just have to scroll down and find it. And uh, just click on it, and it'll automatically load it into EtherCAT. And now we just go to the victim's computer. And as you can see, it is not allowing us to go to finishes.com. Now you could do this for anything. You could be like, uh, I don't know, let's say you're like a parent and you want to prevent your, your child to looking at porn. You can do a search for porn and they'll automatically drop those packets. You know, whatever. You can do whatever you want with this. Um, as you can see, the message was displayed on the Ether cap. Alright, we're just going to stop that filter and uh, I'll show you a different one.